Okay, an important idea that I want to cover, which is this idea of playing in the same key, but we're going to play both major and minor. So if we're in B flat, I'm going to think B flat major, which is your triad. You can think major pentatonic. Okay, cool. But well, let's think minor. From B, B flat. Right? Minor. Minor pentatonic. Okay, well on a blues. You're going to want to thank major for the one chord. Minor for the four. Okay, well, that's pretty easy if you think of it like that. Why does that work? Well, let's check it out. The E flat, the four chord, well, it has a D in there, D flat. That D flat is the flat three of B flat, which your ear hears as the one. See right there, I'm using both. And then I just make it dominant. Look how strong that is. Your ear really hears the one. But it could be minor. Or it could be major. And when you make it dominant, you're making it a seventh. So you're still including a triad. But you can easily make this a flat seven, which I think it sounds good because it's in the harmonic series. And really, you get that flat five. Well, that's blue scale. That's how it works. So now, one of my favorite videos that really explains this is the great Wynn Marsalis, of course. The sound of a major and a minor sounding together is the blues. Western music, we have major modes like. I always thought that major is happy and minor is sad, so. Now the blues puts both of them together. is a deep form, you know, 12 months of the year, 12 measures in the blues. Three act play, three sections of the blues. Three fundamental harmonies of Western music. One, four, five, one. That's the blues. Amen cadence in Western music. I could go on and on. So blues is a profound form. Okay, let's let's relate it to a blues. It's the most basic, you know, harmony, right? One, four, five. It's a each direction on the circle of fifths. Four chord goes in the flat direction counterclockwise. Five chord goes clockwise. Uh, in the in the uh, sharp direction. So interesting. Okay, cool. Blues has three chords: one, four, five. All right, and they tend to make them dominant, right? Okay. Well, if you make them triad, you have this: one, four, five. And what's great about this is we can change we can change the notation on some of these, so we can see them easier. So we got note names, intervals: one. One three five triad, four six eight is the four chord, five seven nine is the five chord. Right? Okay. If we think them from the root, well, we have one three five flat seven. If you want to make them dominant chords, okay, cool. So let's think of them like that then. B flat major pentatonic has these notes in it. Right? Okay, great. If I want to add, you know, note names, well, there you go. Okay. B flat minor. 
has these notes in it. Well, let's look at them in notes. Okay, it has D flats instead of Ds. So immediately you see B flat to B flat minor is D to D flat. That's important because the four chord has a D flat in it. So what's nice is you can play B flat major over the one, B flat minor, you can generalize over the four chord. Your ear hears this going to, to the parallel minor. Right, I could I could think. I'm thinking B flat minor, right? It sounds really in. And also that G is in there, which is very much a part of B flat major pentatonic. So this idea of layering these two different sounds on top of each other at the same time is very cool. It's the essence of blues. You can jump more deep into it by playing mixolydian over each, applying blues scale to get this flat five in there. Oh, we got to fix the root here. So that's why the numbers aren't correct. There we go. Okay, great. You can apply mixolydian over the rest of these chords to be more specific. But the generalization of it is kind of what's important. It's the essence of blues. And you can check out the video on that and why why it works and why I think it works. Um, it's part of the harmonic series, so I think it just it just sounds good to us. You know, it's un undeniable that I can kind of play and that it, it sounds good to us, right? We, we like that sound. Okay, well, if we play through the tune, look at what you notice. Sonny is playing exactly this, this idea. So right there he does major with a G, so major pentatonic, and then he does minor. And then he does minor, but with also with the G. So he does, which is very interesting because he's kind of giving you both at the same time, which is very interesting. And I think kind of really helps play into this idea. Minor, but still uses that G notice. So he's kind of using B flat minor pentatonic and part of B flat major, just not playing the three, but he is playing that G. Because after all, in the four chord, it has a G and a D flat. So you might as well kind of use both. So if we play a chorus, one, two, a one, two, three, four, major, minor, major, minor. Major, minor. And right there, I kind of generalized with the blues scale, right? So, let's see if this will work. It was something like that. So, that's the idea. This idea of parallel key movement as I think of it are just the blues, right? You're thinking major one, minor one, and more specifically, in most cases, six chord, but let's not get into that. And especially not right now because really we want G's. It's very major scale, uh, very major blues, right? What's interesting about it is on a blues, you can play, you can play major and minor on the on the major that first one chord. So, that's just making it sound bluesy, right? And then when you hit the four chord, well, what what notes are in the four chord? Well, you have the four, you have the G. And you have the D flat. Well, notice how the D flat is in the minor, that parallel minor, and then that G is in the parallel major. It's in the melody. So that's what's so great about this tune by Sonny. It's showing you how to use both at the same time. So you're using major, minor, which comes kind of from that minor pentatonic, but that doesn't have a G, but you know what has a G? Is that four chord which also has the D flat so immediately 
immediately you're already stacking two different scales on top of it, two different sounds, two different keys, right? So it sounds really nice, you know? Thank you. 